I've been there. I know what it feels like to feel like things just aren't getting better, especially if you have one of them days where all your stuff's flaring up. You feel miserable. Then you get some not so positive news from the doctor or the uh, uh, from or from a test or something. You know, some days you are going to feel through the ringer. And you know what? That's OK. If you want to help someone who's grieving, be present. Just be there with them and actively listen to them if they feel comfortable enough expressing how they feel. Don't tell them any sort of false hope type stuff. When I got my diagnosis, I didn't want to hear, oh, it'll get better. You don't know that. Some people have a very aggressive form of autoimmune conditions and it doesn't get better. Or you'll go into remission, you don't know that. That's some of the worst things I could have ever been told. And I was very upfront with my husband when talking to him because he likes to fix things. He wants to make me feel better right then and there. And sometimes there's not anything that you can say to make someone feel better. Okay. And if you see any signs of potential suicide behavior, and I'm going to put a slide up here with some of those symptoms or some of those patterns, I'll say. If you are the one experiencing it, please ask for help. Please. You don't always see all the people that you help. There are plenty of people in this world who need you. And just because you don't know it yet doesn't change the fact that you are needed and someone's thinking of you. Somewhere out in the world, someone is praying that you will feel better. So please, if you are out there, you know someone who is in that low space where they feel like they have no way out, reach out to them. Please. Talk to someone, join a support group, but don't hurt yourself and don't hurt anyone else. I know what it's like to be there. Please don't do it. I will leave a link to a um, national hotline if you're in the U.S. that you can there's a text line if you need to text someone, there's a calling like phone number line. And I will also leave a link to BetterHelp in the event that you need um, access to speak with a therapist. The crisis hotlines and text lines is 24 seven support and it's free. So don't worry about being charged for any sort of bill. And then you always could, if you feel like the crisis is really imminent, call 911 or go to the nearest emergency room. Okay. I am also going to leave a link to um, the website that I got my information as far as the Kubler-Ross uh, stages of grief. If you wanted to go and read it. I thought it was a very good resource and I think it explained very nicely how, what it felt like to get a new diagnosis. You may have to live your life a little bit differently with a chronic condition, but that doesn't mean you have to stop living. So. Leave a comment of kindness in the comments below because you never know who else might be feeling low and read that comment and that little kernel of kindness goes a long way. It does. So you guys take care and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.